Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, we'll be taking you on a ride in a new direction as we look at a different kind of pet, the tiger shovel nose catfish. For the longest time, this fascinating freshwater fish never ceases to capture the interest of aquarists. It stands out for its uncommon appearance in the aquatic world. Today, it has become the people's favorite large fish to keep. Are you wondering what else makes this fish stand out? We'll tell you more so watch to the end as this video promises to teach you all there is to know about the tiger shovel nose catfish. While you're at it, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. Firstly, before getting one of these awesome creatures for yourself, it's important to note that this catfish requires a lot of study and understanding compared to the common fish. For this reason, new owners should avoid this species till they are well grounded on its temperament. The tiger shovel nose catfish, whose scientific name is Pseudoplatystoma fastiation, originates from the South American waterways. They prefer to stay in the deepest parts of major rivers with lots of shade. This is because in those parts, they have enough space to move around freely and hunt food for each other. The trees and shrubs that create the shade tend to have many plants present in these waters, and it is also usual to locate them in flooded woods. The tiger shovel nose utilizes its barbells to navigate the muddy waterways it inhabits. This further allows them to know where their prey is and where they're going. They are highly sought after by local fishermen due to their size and flavor. Let's talk about the captivating appearance of this catfish and why everyone's attention is always drawn to it. Interestingly, just like you may have suspected, its name was premeditated from the breed's sizable flat nose. The structure of the nose allows them to snare prey and skim the riverbed when necessary. They have a nice, lengthy set of barbells that extends from the front of their mouth and are inclined forward in a way. These aid them in navigating through the murky seas. This fish has average-sized dorsal fins that fan rearward in a shell-like form. Tiger shovel nose catfish have black patches on their forked caudal fins. Their pectoral and anal fins are both tiny and have a similar pattern. Typically, the front to the back of the catfish's body is designed with their body hue and pattern, which comes in dark silver with huge black stripes going vertically. You'll notice that there are some beautiful spots in between the stripes. The lifespan of this catfish can be greatly influenced by the kind of care it receives in captivity and the hereditary variables. However, research has proven that the lifespan of the breed can range from 18 to 25 years. This fish hardly gets to the end of its existence in captivity, which is typical of a large freshwater fish, so have this in mind before buying one. The breed is also known to have rapid growth. Nothing seems to limit their growth. No matter how small their tank and food are, they still grow quickly, so you must prepare for this. There is a lot of misconception concerning the growth rate of this fish, but this is the correct information. While in captivity, the tiger shovel nose catfish grows around 2.5 to 3 feet long, but they rarely grow taller than 4 feet in the wild. Maintaining the tiger shovel nose catfish is pretty simple. Simple. You only need to have a plan. Considering their size, the first thing you'll want to put in place is a fish tank that's wide enough for its comfort. The recommended tank size for this fish is 180 to 200 gallons for juveniles and 250 gallons or more for the adult sizes. The breed strives in a comfortable and free wander environment, so in the actual sense, you need to recreate a natural habitat that is somewhat a replica of what they're used to while living in the wild. Amazingly, the breed can survive in a wide range of water conditions so long as it is consistent. The water temperature should be between the range of 75 5 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, while the pH range should be from 6 to 8, and the water hardness from 6 to 20 carbonate hardness. It is a good practice to frequently do consistent water level checks with a dependable testing kit to ensure that all is fine with the water at all times. This will assist you in detecting any undesired shifts before they become an issue and negatively influence the health of your fish. A good water quality decreases the stress level and provides them with more nutritious food. More importantly, ensure you carry out water changes from time to time as the lifespan and temperament of your fish depend on the quality of water. 
The tiger shovel nose, like other freshwater species, is vulnerable to common illnesses such as ick. It occurs due to poor water quality or the introduction of another ick-infected fish into the tank. Furthermore, in the course of creating a habitat that mimics the wild, be creative. Add up some objects from their natural habitats, such as driftwood, rocks, and some plants. When setting up the tank, you may experiment with a variety of plants. Because of its adaptability, water wisteria and hornwort are the best options. Placing some decent-sized pebbles and driftwood on the substrate can also make a significant impact. Bear in mind that if the tank is bare, the fish may become stressed or aggressive. Giving your fish a healthy, balanced diet is ideal. To achieve this, aim for a combination of worms, frozen meals, and pellets. You may also give them chunks of fish as an excellent source of nourishment and a treat. They're used to seeing a lot of them in the wild. Although in the wild, they consume crustaceans and smaller fish. They also have the habit of nibbling on plants while in search for meaty, protein-rich meals. Note that their size could mislead you into overfeeding them, so keep an eye on how much they consume. This can lead to health issues as well as a decline in water quality. Keep a close eye on this while they're still growing. The introduction of tank mates is an interesting aspect of caring for a fish. When doing so, consider the size and attitude of the fish to avoid any form of damage. It is advisable to bring in only freshwater fish that are large enough to protect themselves or are not considered a target. This will influence the size of the tank you want since two huge fish or more will require space to expand. Also, you might want to look for tank mates that aren't too aggressive as highly territorial or fine Tasty fish will not be a suitable match. Some great options are the retail catfish, arowana, paku, oscarfish, and huge gourami. While your shovel nose will most certainly be able to defend itself, never create the room for its tank to be a combat area. We don't have so much information on the internet on the step-by-step -step method to breed a tiger shovel-nosed catfish. Suppose you want to go ahead and breed one. You must first embrace an element of uncertainty because breeding might reduce your fish's lifespan. First, you'll need enough room to support a big breeding tank. You'll probably need to transfer the adults out after the procedure is complete, so there should be room for another tank as well. Secondly, you'll have to source out for a fish for it to mate with, and you'll face a few stumbling blocks just attempting to discover a male and female. Another thing is when you finally get these stumbling blocks out of the way, there's no assurance that they'll get along and even try to breed in your tank. There is no record of the number of tiger shovel-nosed catfish across the globe since they have spread out and expanded so far from their origins in the Amazon River Basin. The population of the tiger shovel-nosed catfish has reduced significantly in recent times due to various factors, including overfishing and natural environment devastation caused by dam construction. There is also the prevalence of mixed breeds, which further makes it difficult to determine their overall number. So that's it for today's video on the Tiger Shovel Nose Catfish. Would you rather own this fish as a pet or go ahead to breed them? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications so you can be the first to know when we post a new video. Also, check out our playlist and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching!